can hear the baby crying. That's the story of my life right now. He doesn't stop, it's relentless. I'm trying to make some fresh orange juice for me because the only way I know how to take care of the baby is to take care of me, which is barely happening. But I figured I'd have this camera and document this because I feel like when I look back on this, if we get through this, I will never believe that this was my life. Uh, good morning, so it is the next morning. Last night, we finally got some sleep, um, which I needed to even be able to somewhat function today. Um, I have a killer headache, so I'm actually making a cup of coffee because I haven't had coffee in days. Um, so I don't know if it's like a caffeine headache or if it's just a headache with this whole COVID thing. So um, I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm finally getting to be able to eat some food. I'm gonna try to drink some orange juice that I made last night, some water. The baby just went down for like a nap. So I'm hoping he does a good little snooze. So I'm gonna try to like eat and then rest myself. The biggest thing that's hard is like, I wanna be like, oh, I'm gonna, go run, I'm gonna clean this, I'm gonna do this, and I have to keep remembering like I need to rest because the more that I keep resting, I will say I keep feeling better. So, but when I start to like try to move and do stuff and everything, that's when things come on to me. Like right now, ugh, the body aches are so painful, but I'm gonna, like I said, get this coffee. I'm just coming on here and trying to just document this, that this is something to look back on, that we're just like, we got through this, like here's, God willing, here's hoping that we, we got through this, but um, yeah, I've also lost five pounds, which I'm not mad at, but it is interesting that, yeah, I've lost five pounds in like just the last couple of days. I know a lot of it is water weight and stuff, but still. Um, so here we are, um, another day. Baby is doing better um, each day, which has me happy. I. I'm starting to have a cough, <clears throat> a little bit of tightness in my chest, but um, it's nothing that like I feel like I need to go to the hospital or anything about. Uh, it's been amazing, just the amount of outpour and the community that we have here and stuff with just help for anything that we need, groceries, food, um, which has been a tremendous help. I'm actually making myself some soup right now, um, which a friend brought yesterday because um, unfortunately though, I can't keep anything down. Um, I can't keep anything in down, so I'm trying to be really light on my food. I've literally lost now six pounds in the last two days. Um, so I'm tired, I'm hungry, um, but we're trekking, trekking along here. Um, Ryan is doing fine. Uh, he's running around. I had to try to explain to him why we couldn't uh, leave the house today, why people can't come over. Um, and he's, he gets it, but he's having a tough time with it. I think especially after having all of us been on lockdown from before earlier in the year and then freedom and he's just kind of like, why? what's going on right now? And especially for it to be so strict because we are the positive house versus you know, it just being the mass lockdown again, a preventative, like really truly being like, we do not have contact with anybody. So <clears throat> it is what it is. Um, like I said though, I'm gonna try to get uh, the soup in me. Uh, I had roasted a chicken before all this madness that I looked in the fridge and it needs to get eaten up, which worked out because I warmed up chicken noodle soup. So I just added some of the roast chicken in there as well to just get extra meat and protein. Because I do feel like, however, my milk supply is starting to suffer a little bit just because I can't get enough nutrients because I can't keep it in. But we're gonna keep on trying. Um, they just called me and uh, I'm positive, which was to be expected. Um, I am absolutely exhausted. I am barely able to take care of these kids right now. Orion is basically not I gotta get a like thank, exercise. Okay, thank goodness he can 
pretty much kind of self-sustain himself in terms of we got food and stuff from friends that he can easily go and open, like Go-Burts and Lunchables and stuff. Um, the TV is certainly watching him. My room is right off of the living room, so I mean, it's not like he's completely by himself, but the baby, I had to finally just come out here and just be like, let me put the baby in the swing to watch his brother because I just need rest. I can't keep playing with the baby because the baby feels better and he is active but I barely can even text to my husband. Like, Sean texts me and I look at it and I'm like, I can't. So this is the last update for probably this part of videos and stuff is yes, I do have it, but I have got to get rest. I've got to get sleep and I've got to try to get better because right now what's gonna send me to the hospital is going to be getting to a point of no return exhaustion than anything else <coughs> hello um welcome to another I feel like covid chronicles so i just wanted to show you guys real quick just the generosity is amazing so it's um thanksgiving and uh aside from all of the meals people have been bringing i just wanted to show you guys this part because i'm feeling well enough to be up and doing this the last couple days I've really just been wiped and haven't really been on the camera but um yeah let me just show you aside from people just bringing us our packages thank you um groceries like this big box here is Thanksgiving for us which is just like it is just incredible like turkey and sides and gravy and it's just amazing because obviously we can't spend Thanksgiving with anybody um have anybody over I have definitely not had the energy or anything to cook a full Thanksgiving meal so to have this is just incredible and it just warms my heart and makes me emotional but <clears throat> trying to hold it together here on the camera um but yeah so this vlog I wanted to show that oh and he's starting to wake up he had fallen asleep um so we got that. I have Bible study though, so I'm going to get off here, get onto virtual Bible study, get this food and stuff out, get Orion eating, and then I have enough energy to finally get the kids bathed, at least one of them. Um, yesterday was the first time in six days I was able to shower myself. Um, felt incredible. Um, I'm going to get Orion showered and washed uh, this evening, and then we'll see about the baby, if not, I'll do the baby um, tomorrow, but I haven't trusted myself enough to be bent over and doing the baby because I get really lightheaded and stuff still and then picking him up. So <clears throat> he's crying on that note. I gotta go.